Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make uh, morphine synths so that you can get more interesting sounds coming out of a synth. This is what we're going to be going for. So hopefully you'll be able to hear the sound kind of morph from one place to another. Cool. So let me uh, try to break down what we got going on here. It's pretty simple use of an instrument rack and using LFOs to create a bit more movement. So what I've got here is I have four separate wavetable instruments. And to show you how this works, I'll just come over here. You would just drag in a wavetable instrument. And by the way, you don't have to use all the same instruments. I'm, I'm just using it for this example. And then you would group it, uh, control G, command if you're using a PC. And then what you could do is you can drag different instruments in here. Or what I can do is just duplicate. What I would do first, which I'll show you in just a second on the main track is I'd come into Audio Effects and grab an LFO that's in your modulations area if you're using Ableton 11. And just drop it in. And then we'll slow this right down. And on this, we're just using basic shapes. So I'm going to back the depth off a little bit. And the rate seems fine. We're going to map this over here. So now the waveform is changing. OK, so if I arm this track. OK, so that's essentially what I'm doing. And then I'm duplicating each of these wavetables. So just one wavetable duplicated three more times. And that's just Command-D or Control-D on a PC. Uh, that way the LFO is already uh, there. And then I come in and I change the waveform. So each separate one of these is a different waveform. So as it morphs, it's really going to shift sound and stuff like that. And then what I'll do, as you can see here, is I'll add some different effects. So on the first one here, we've got basic shapes, we've got an LFO, and then we've got a reverb. On the second one, we're using the harmonic series in here. Let's uh, just solo this real quick. This basic one here, let's just wait for this to come over. And then this one over here. So the second one has uh, a delay on it and a reverb. And third one here has a delay, reverb, and a phaser and a pedal instrument, so adding a little fuzz. So this one's uh, a dirtier sound here. So a little dirtier sound and this, this sound here at the end. And this one has Yet another waveform. This is a like a pulse waveform, and I'm also using LFO for the full too. So as you can see, there's two LFOs here. One is controlling the wavetable position. This one here 
is controlling uh, the fold here. And then I've added a flanger, uh, actually a phaser here, and a reverb. This one's a bit more washed out. And then an echo with uh, different settings on the left and right, giving a different sound, okay? Um, and then at the end, I've got just a glue compressor and saturation. And this is just kind of gluing all the parts together a little bit better. And then I have an LFO here. And what this is doing, this is connected to this orange line here. It's called the chain selector. So as this moves across, it is telling which one of these to play. And as you can see over, over here, we've got this white line. See how it fades? This is like a volume fade. So as this first one fades out, this one fades in, and then it fades out at the end. This one kind of fades in here and out here. And then this one fades in and goes to the end, right? So that's how you get that morphing sort of sound. If we were doing this from scratch, we would come in here, come to chain, highlight all of these, drag them all out, and then we'll right click, distribute ranges equally, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of make them overlap here, like so. And then what I can do is I could just individually create a fade here, a fade in here, fade out, a little fade in here and out. And then I'll let this one fade in like so. And then, yeah, what we'll do is we would grab an LFO. So come over here, grab an LFO, drop it at the end. Slow the LFO rate down, because we kind of want to slow morph. Hit map, and then we come over here and we just click this orange line here. And as you can see, the LFO is making this move across, and that's what's changing the sounds. All right, so that's essentially how you could get really interesting morphing sounds uh, in Ableton. So give that a shot. Once you learn it, you can really explore uh, far and wide. And as you notice here on some of these different synths, I turned the volume down on some. So you might need to change the volume on some just to make the sounds a little bit more evened out. This distorted one here uh, is lower than all of them because we don't need it that distorted. Uh, but I just want to add a little personality in there. So give that a try and I hope it helps make your songs sound a little bit more interesting and it just creates a bit more surprise to your sounds. So with that, have a good one and I'll speak to you guys soon. Happy music making.